Hello and welcome back to Will's World, where we don't just have one obsession, we have a hundred. Today's obsession is going to be a spoiler-free review of the first episode of The Penguin, uh, which is the spin-off from The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson, which also starred Colin Farrell as The Penguin. Um, and this series has been a long time coming. Um, I re-watched The Batman for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And I think it lost a lot not being in the cinema, but I, when I first saw it, uh, but it was still amazing. That car chase with Penguin is probably the most memorable moment for me. And that's saying a lot considering, you know, Riddler is my guy. Um, but yeah, so this is the uh, series, season. Um, HBO Max have, have done it and I believe Matt Reeves is involved obviously uh, to carry on that continuity uh, and Colin Farrell has returned as the Penguin which is awesome considering uh, reading this week just how long it takes for him to get in makeup which is like 8-10 to 10 hours a day which is absolutely insanity when you think that that is then going to eat into the filming time um, then considering um Obviously, the takeover with the, the new DC Universe uh, happening and there's going to be a new Batman completely. Um, this is going to be an interesting little side asterisk, really. And I think, you know, you don't have to be a Batman fan to enjoy this series. Uh, obviously, Batman is not in it. But um, the good thing about it is, you know, people have been likening it to The Sopranos. And having watched that first episode, I can kind of get what they're what they're saying it's a very moody type of program but with little interspersed humor um at times you know some of it is very very uh drawn out but not boring and then other bits are quite action filled but not overwhelming also so they've got a really good mix on this first episode um i highly recommend you find it and watch it even if you're not a batman fan um just because i think it will really surprise you. Uh, the pacing of it was perfect, the um, uh, the performances of the actors involved is, is astonishing really, especially Farrell. Um, I'm really intrigued as to where it's going to go from here and I'm excited for episode two. Um, I think my favourite moment, which is not really a spoiler, but uh, at one point you see a jeweller's near where Penguin's Club is and the jeweller's is called Burgess Jewelers. And for anybody who is a huge 1966 Batman fan, um, everyone will know that uh, Burgess Meredith, the actor, really, really, really top actor, played the Penguin. Uh, so I feel like that was a very nice little nod. And even Farrell has come out and said that, you know, that was his, his first Penguin uh, before obviously admiring Danny DeVito in the role. Um, it's, it's very tonally similar to the Batman with a little bit more realism almost because obviously I think anytime you have Batman it does kind of take you out of that everyday life. This is something kind of, you know, very reminiscent of, of, of perhaps these mob stories that we've, that, that programs tend to do now. Um, just as a brief overview, it's not really spoilers because I think you'll know about it, but the whole series centers on literally about a week or two after the events of the Batman where Gotham is completely doused in... Uh, flood water and you know a lot of the city is broken uh, from the Riddlers um, basically spoilers here for the Batman um, for the Riddlers actions um, and this is Oz taking up trying to fill that power vacuum um, that has been left by Falcone's death um, and seeing now his his backstory is going to be amazing there's already a few teasers in this first episode which I kind of think I've got a theory on so We'll see how that goes, and I'll maybe tell you that theory in episode two review. Um, but I think it has got something to do with penguins, uh, how penguin maybe injured his, his foot, um, his family history, and you know, um, potentially something happening to his his brother, uh, his brothers. If that's right, I could have misread all that. Um, but yeah, so very very impressed. Looking forward to watching episode two. I'm I'm really really gutted that actually there's not released it all in one block, and I can binge it. Um, but this is how TV used to be. You know, Lost is 20 year old this year, um, and that's how we we enjoyed TV back then. 
Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick review. Um, I, I can't wait, I'm going to have to tell you the spoilers. So spoilers here for the episode, um, you can stop watching now. I really think that maybe there was an accident with Penguin and his brothers. Penguin got injured and uh, his brothers have died. And his mum is perhaps ill, as anyone would be after losing children, and is forgetting that her sons are not alive, as she mentioned something about her sons being in the bath, and, you know, Penguin kind of looking at her, like, gone out and saying, you know, does she need to take her meds? Um, these are all the little theory. I could be completely wrong, and I could have completely misunderstood that, but I just want to put that out there just in case it comes true, and, you know, i I'd be quite impressed, really. Um, that I managed to work that out um, considering my brain doesn't work anymore <laughs> um, but yeah absolutely go watch it and I'll be back for episode 2 next week hopefully thank you as always please take back eh cannot talk as always please take care peace love and prayers bye